everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do face detection using open cv in native android application so let's get started first thing which you have to do is you will have to go to opencv.org slash releases click on the android button it will download a zip file for you unzip it i have already done that then i have created my native android application uh, then we just have to go to uh, file new import module and here you will have to click on this icon and from this i will select my open cv android sdk select this sdk click open give it whatever name you feel like i'll just give it as open cv i'll click on finish uh, now this will take little bit of time uh, now this is just uh, helpful instructions which i have written because i keep forgetting them in every video so uh, just be patient a little bit i think uh, this should get done okay so this is done now there is one issue the open cv uh, so here you will see this particular error the issue is because the open cv is still using groovy gradle whereas newer android projects uses kotlin gradle if your native android project is using groovy gradle then you won't face this issue but what we have to do is here you can see it has created two settings.gradle file we have to delete this one so i'll just click on delete okay and here you have to click on do refactor then here i have to uh, go over here i'll paste it this okay and i you have to paste this so whatever name you have given use it over here and then click on try again uh, all right next what we have to do is we have to update the min max hdq of our open cv gradle file as well as update the uh, java version so here you can see inside build.gradle.kts so whatever compile hdk min hdk and target hdk you are using for your app update the same for uh, open cv as well so i'll just go to open cv and here inside me compile hdk i will add 34 min hdk is 24 target hdk is 34 for me and here i will update this java version to 17 and this as well to 17 then i'll click on sync now then i will have to go to file project structure dependencies so i'll just click on file project structure i'll have to go to dependencies select all modules click this plus button click module dependency select your app then here you will have to check this open cv over here click on ok click apply click ok and what it basically does is that if you see your build.gradle it basically adds open cv to your dependencies so that's it from the setup part now i have already created one project so i will be copying a lot of code from this but i will uh, explain it to you as we go along so firstly we will have to create a folder called raw so i'll go to app res new android resource directory and here you will have to check this raw click ok and firstly you will have to go to this particular url so i'll just copy paste uh, so firstly i'll create this uh, file so because we require this file this will help us for uh, phase detection so i'll just uh, copy this file name okay i'll go to raw right click new uh, file dot xml okay then i'll just copy paste all this code so i'll do control a control c and i'll just paste it over here okay so it has pasted it is a long code but yeah that's fine uh, all right next what we have to do is uh, we have to go to main activity so first i'll copy paste everything and then i will explain it to you so i'll just go to kotlin main activity and i'll paste it over here okay just a minute huh? sorry okay my project we paste it from here 
ओके पैक ऑल राइट एंड आई ऑल्सो नीड टू पेस्ट माई ले आउट फाइल आई जस्ट टेक दिस कंट्रोल ए कंट्रोल सी ले आउट एक्टिविटी अंडर स्कोर मेन कोड आई जस्ट पेस्ट इट ओवर हियर एज वेल ओके एंड हियर आई कैन जस्ट गिव इट सम नेम फॉर कॉन्टेंट डिस्क्रिप्शन आई गेस सॉरी इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू टाइप वेन यू आर टॉकिंग माई इमेज ओके एनी वेज जस्ट क्रिएट एन एक्सटेंड ओके सो दिस इज डन एंड जस्ट लेट मी जस्ट चेक वेदर आई हैव एडेड एनी थिंग इन साइड एंड्रॉयड मैनिफेस्ट और नॉट आई डोंट थिंक सो ओके सो बेसिकली इफ यू सी इन साइड एक्टिविटी अंडर स्कोर मेन ऑल आई हैव डन इज दैट आई हैव टेकन वन इमेज व्यू दिस आई हैव टेकन एक्चुअली टू इमेज व्यू द इन द फर्स्ट इमेज व्यू वी विल ओनली लाइक ड्रॉ वन रेक्टैंगल अराउंड द फेस and in the second image view we will actually crop the image a uh, face image from the uh, first uh, from the selected image which we have and only display the uh, face inside that uh, so that's the point so here you can see this is the first image view uh, then i have taken a button which will help us to uh, select uh, one image for us and then i have taken another image view which will help us to uh, display the a uh, crop image uh, to us so here if you see this is the uh, next image view then if i go to main activity okay why is it showing error okay this is fine this is an android studio bug all right so first uh, you can copy this imports if you want to uh, all right then uh, here i have taken our uh, image view so one image view second image view i have taken one variable for uh, bitmap as well and i have taken one variable for uh, mat then i have taken uh, one cascade classifier as well uh, i'll come back to this particular bit of code so inside on create uh, we are first uh, initializing our uh, image view the first image view and then uh, we are also initializing the second face image view as well uh, from uh, whatever id we had given then uh, i'll come back to this init code which i have written and then here on click listener we are ca calling this launch new photo picker so if i show you this code here you can see we are basically uh, i have created this register for activity result and here we are filtering by images only so if i come over here here you can see this one so as soon as the user selects one image we get the uh, uri and with the help of this uri i am going to background th io thread with the help of kotlin coroutines i am creating a bitmap out of it and if mat is equal to null then only i am initializing mat then we are uh, doing bitmap to mat passing this our bitmap as well as mat and if mat is not equal to null then only we call detect faces which will give us these fa faces and later on we call bitmap dot create bitmap uh, result bitmap which will help us to get the exact uh, uh, so here you can see this is our result bitmap which we again uh, do a mat to bitmap so we are converting it back again and to extract the face i'm calling this extract method passing our bitmap and i just only want one face if you want multiple faces instead of passing just one you can pass an array and then loop through it and on the main thread i'm uh, displaying it inside our image view as well as face image view so yeah this is done now uh, now this is the code for extract face so it takes a, a bitmap as well as a, a face rect and uh, basically we are creating a bitmap so we are passing the width and height then i'm uh, creating our canvas then we are using the rect from our android graphics passing the xy width and height as well and then we are creating a distance rect from that and then we are uh, drawing that bitmap on our canvas and is returning the face bitmap and for detecting faces uh, this is the code for it so we are creating a gray mat then we uh, use cvt color then equalizes even i am not really sure about this uh, i have just copy pasted the code from docs so uh, even i am not really sure what this is what this numbers are uh, but yeah and then we are just looping over it then we just do image proc dot rectangle and we just pass the list of rect so this is how we generate it i have already shown you this and for initialization 
we just do lifecycle uh, scope dot launch and on the io thread we first initialize our open cv then here we are re uh, reading the xml file which we have created so make sure you pass the name properly so we are creating an output stream from that uh, and then we just do cascade classifier pass our cascade file path absolute path and if it is em still empty then i'm assigning it as null and otherwise i'm just uh, deleting it so uh, yeah let's now see the code so i have uh, started uh, running the app so hopefully it should be available to us by that meantime i'll just remove all this okay guys so this is the output i'll quickly uh, run it again uh, just to show it to you uh, now there is one bug which i will show you in a bit so if i click on select i'll select this particular image and uh, here you can see it has properly detected this image and it has cropped that face and displaying it to us now i will select another image so th this image okay now here i don't know why it is telling us that it is able to detect two faces but at least actually there is only one face right i don't know why this issue is coming maybe some issue with uh, this face detection xml file but to resolve this all you have to do is you can write something like this you can just remove this loop okay and here you can see i'm just i just want the first face i don't care about the second face but there could be uh, a thing in your app that you, you have a group photo and you want to detect multiple faces so in that case this logic won't work so choose wisely so if i select this now here you can see it is only able to detect one face so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye